What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Michael. I'm here to talk about this brand new, beautiful, sleek UI library. Now, if you're a big fan of ShadCN UI, this is like ShadCN plus Framer Motion had a baby, and that's what we have here. So we're going to check it out. So it's called Astern Asternity. I'll be honest. I don't really know how to pronounce it. A Asternity UI. Asternity UI or Asternity UI. Whatever it is, let's check it out. I have it linked down in the description. We could check out some of the components. Now, a lot of these components are just straight gorgeous, right? You have a 3D effect card, 3D animated pin. Let's just let's just go through them. So nice clean card component, hover over it, and like the animation sort of follows this uh, anti-clockwise uh, flow, and it's very very clean. And the thing I like about this UI library, it, it's just like ShadCN UI, where you get all the source code. So I've actually sort of learned, been learning a lot about Framer Motion um, because the source code is all there, right? My favorite, let's keep on going. You have sparkles, which are just these nice clean effect. You have background gradient, uh, which is very nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's very, very, and it's very easy to set up. We'll do an example setup in a bit. We have spotlight. Oh, this is pretty cool image slider uh, stuff you've probably already seen before but here is my favorite stuff there's a lot of stuff going on but some of my favorite stuff we can just go to the overview here i really like this tracing beam where you're scrolling down and you see that beam right to the left that is just beautiful and it's like not instant like it sort of like follows you and like it's not super fast which i like it has that like slow nice um uh uh, like vibe or feeling to it. I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it but this itself i'm not gonna lie this code itself would make a sick blog i might update my uh <laughs> portfolio page uh to have a, a blog with this code so I, I really enjoy this i do like the uh tool tip as well where you know kind of if you i don't know if you noticed that but when you move the mouse on the t like hovering on the subject that props up the tool tool tip it sort of follows you which is pretty nice it's just the little things you know um, what else? The bento grid. Now, I don't know if you know, but um, if you look at, if you follow any designers on YouTube or on Twitter, um, particularly, sorry, X, um, bento grids are just in right now. Like, they're very clean. It, you know, it design, like, you know, the design is very aesthetically pleasing. It explains everything um, in one clear section. And they're not the most funnest thing to make, as in like, it's not hard to make, but to make it look this nice um, and have it straight out the box is beautiful. So again, it's very easy to set one of these things up. I will set up a bento grid in a bit, but I just wanna keep looking at the other components. Um, you have this card stack, which is pretty nice. You get to see those layers added up. And I'll also, um, oh, this one's pretty sick too, this scroll animation. I probably won't use this anytime soon, but I'm sure I'm sure there's someone there that would want to. So you have that and then you have this again, th these are just I wouldn't use this, but this is beautiful, right? Um and then you have a couple glowing cards, backgrounds. Now this one is this one is uh is great, especially the dotted uh background. Uh, is it this one? No, it's this one right here. I really like this one. This kind of gives it like a very clean startup look. Oh, there, there's a sick layout grid as well, where if you like click on the section, it comes like a modal, like a card that hovers over, which I really, really like. Um, but where is, oh, the animated tab. So this is one of my favorite one. And I used it for uh, an application I just recently made, an e-commerce application. Check that out. I just love how they swap just that animation. Now, one thing I did is I don't like how, like I don't like the space between the tabs and this right here. I like how it looks when the cards, like, you know, when the cards are like stacked on, on top of each other. I like how that looks. So what I did was I went into the code. Um, was it here? No, I believe it's in this here. So I went to the code. You see this state right here where it says hovering. So I set hovering to be true. And essentially what it did was uh, like these, like the way it looks like right now when the cards are stacked on top of each other, that's how it looks default. And I prefer that personally. So 
sick component um, that I used. And then there's this text reveal stuff, which is, again, it'd be annoying making this yourself, right? And making it look this good. So uh, the person who created this UI library is a G. And then there's there's buttons, there's a hero section, a floating pointer, which I like as well. But really my favorite one, if we haven't checked it out yet, is we have the bento grid. So we're gonna set this up right now. So, sorry, I have VS Code loaded up. This is just the, my starter Next.js template. Um, I'm sure most of you guys who um, are web developers who work with Next.js, just having to set up again and again gets annoying. So I have my own little uh, starter template that I just uh, build off of. So if I wanted to have this bento grid, first thing I would do is start off with installing these dependencies. So let's do that right here. All right, let that let that install. And then we're gonna have uh, a cn.ts. I'm pretty sure I might already have this, but I'll show you guys how I do it anyway. So you create your utils folder, or oh, I don't. Um, and then we'll do cn.ts. And then we just copy this code. Uh, npm error it out. Let's see. Okay, maybe I'll just use yarn add. Hopefully this works. And then we're gonna create the UI. So we're gonna go components UI bento grid. So let me just copy this. I'll go to components. I already have UI and then it was called bento dash grid dot TSX, right? TSX, of course. It's not a TS file. What are you doing, Mike? So we do that, we'll drop that in here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that code is already in. Now let's go, let's go to code here. Let's copy this. Let's create a simple component here called bento.tsx. Just copy it here. We'll call this bento. Why are you not happy? Oh, it's because in the same directory. Okay, bento is good here. So now let's go to page.tsx and let's add bento. And let's see how this looks. Wow. Look how clean that is. Look at how clean these look. And let's see how mobile optimized this is. That's beautiful. So the cards just stack together. And that's what I love about this UI library. Just like chat CN UI, all I have to do is just install whatever dependencies, frame or motion, whatever it needs, copy paste the code, and I can use these components however I want. I can customize them however I want. And that just makes a beautiful developer experience where I don't want to build a bento grid from scratch, but I would love to have the code so I can tweak it to the exact specifications that I want. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure to check out the UI library. Again, I will have it linked in the description below. It's an awesome UI library. If you enjoyed chat CN UI, you will definitely enjoy this one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to start uploading uh, developer content frequently very, very soon. So I would appreciate every and all support. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.